we know what the field is for the juvenile fillies and stuff, and your filly made a late run, ran a big third in the grade one at, um, at Keelan, the Alcibiades. Uh, talk about how she's doing and how you see the race shaping up. Yeah, Jenny, she, uh, she ran real well in the Alcibiades. Um, she went a little wide on the final turn, but she finished up good. So she shipped out good, gave her a good gallop yesterday. She ate good last night. She seems happy. She's right over there. And uh, so we're going to take her out and train her a little bit. And uh, it's a six horse field for two million, but good horses. Yeah, I mean, but it looks like, I mean, there's some good speed in there, which um, should help her, her, you know, work in her favor as long as it cooperates we, and doesn't keep right. going. We hope so. You know, it's just kind of speed favor track a little bit. So. We need to be kind of close, I think. You've never been afraid to take a shot when a horse is doing well, and you've won Breeders' Cup races because of it. It's a sort of just talk about the, um, you know, I mean, the I mean, look, I think she's got credentials. She ran good last time. She's lightly raced. Um, you know, it's the Breeders' Cup. We like to be in races that, uh, you know, to give our horses a chance to, to be accomplished. So here we are. And now you're co-owner of Correct. her with yeah. West Point. And, um, Talk about when you own a horse as well as training the horse. Does that change the? I mean, she's not the only horse you own. You've well, actually had some nice it, horses. It could change your payday if you if you get in these big races and you run well. Um, but I bought her as a yearl, and I, actually, I told a couple people that she reminded me of Forever Unbridled, her body type, and uh, I just liked her as an individual. So uh, we bought her. And we got we got her for a hundred thousand. I thought we did uh, we did real well. So uh, Terry's Finley's West Point Thoroughbreds. They have half of her. And some partners of mine have uh, we have the other half. So what did you buy her and then ask Terry if West Point might be interested in her? Well, or? we kind of talked about partnering up on a couple of horses, which we did. We bought a colt, and uh, this is the filly that we bought two horses. Yeah, like you said, with these horses, especially when you own them, each race can mean so much financially. To yeah. you, but it makes a big difference when when you well, own she's, a she's grade one placed, so that's uh, you know that's big for us. So that'll that'll help us out on the back end of. It. A lot of trainers, uh, when they own a horse, when the right price comes around, they're not shy about selling. I mean, have you gotten some offers? Or with West Point, you no. know, they're probably, they're looking for the action. They want a stakes horse. They want a grade one horse. You know, we're, we're going to ride it out a little bit. We'll see. Uh, I mean, if she wins, you know, we'll, we'll see. So, um, I mean, she's worth what we gave for her, for sure, now. <laughs> and um, so she'll go to New Orleans uh, with you yeah, I'll probably give her a little time off after this. I'll probably send her to Windstar, give her 30 days over there, and then take her down to New Orleans, hopefully get her ready for the Kentucky Oaks. I was going to say, you've won the Kentucky Oaks, speaking of horses that were a price. Does she show you the characteristics that you, uh, you said she reminded you of uh, Forever Unbridled, who was your Breeders' well, Cup? Uh, she's showing me nice characteristics of a good horse, you know, so... Now, how fast she's going to run and what she's going to win, we'll, we'll just have to, that's, that's the fun of racing. That's the fun of ownership. That's the fun of, you know, being where we're at. We're in Kentucky, and, uh, you know, we love being there. She's done real well at Churchill. Kentucky racing's on the forefront now. So we uh, we had a good day Saturday. We won three two-year-old races there. So our babies are running good, and uh, we're excited to be, be in Kentucky and be here for the Breeders' Cup. Well, you must be loaded with the um, two-year-olds then this year. You won well, three on the Stars of Tomorrow. Yeah, we won three. We've actually won about 12 on the year, seven or eight first-time starters. And I've got three or four more left that I like. I actually won one Colt. Um, uh, actually, two Colts. Um, there's a couple of Colts and a, and a Philly or two that are left to run at Churchill that are pretty damn nice. Is this the best group of two-year-olds overall? Deepest, would you say, you've had? Well, yeah, I mean, listen, I've had some good ones, but this is overall, you know, they, they've competed on their first start very good. So what they're going to do later on, I mean, you're talking about some really good horses that, you know, ran in the Triple Crown and Breeders' Cup races and stuff. But they, they, they're they doing good off the off the start. Yeah, but those cards are amazing. When you look at the yeah. list of winners that have come out of the start oh, of yeah. tomorrow, yeah. one two cards. Yeah, that Colt that won going long, Ben Diesel, he's a full brother to Will Seeker. And she was third in the Oaks. He's a wonderful Colt. One going long first time out.